Hi guys, welcome back to my student vlog once again. My name is Mackins. I trust you all are doing great. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to check your Enugu State University of Science and Technology post ETME results without developing any issue. So um let's get started. <laughs> So guys, before I continue with this tutorial, I would like to plead with you guys not to skip any part of this video so that you will understand the processes it takes in checking your, your issue for CTMA result. So let's get started. Alright guys, so for you to check your issue for CTMA result, the first thing you need to do is to go to Google. Uh, you can use Chrome as your uh, browser or any other browser you have. It works on any browser. So and uh, type is it portal just like i'm doing now once you type it you enter it so uh the first results on google's page you scroll down uh, uh a bit and then you will see a link that shows that it's written is quarter then you click on it once you click on it to take you directly to uh ASUS portal then the next thing you need to do is to go to a uh, regular student uh, link services then as you scroll down you will see a, a, a link that is written check 2020 slash 2021 for ctm result and you click on that particular link so uh, once you click on it uh, it will take you to where you check this uh, for ctm result so um well, for you to check it or uh, before you check it the first thing you need to do to generate an invoice then uh, take it uh, together with 2000 naira to the bank and pay then you come back and check your main result so uh, first thing we need to do now is to generate an invoice so for you to generate an invoice you need to enter your range number which is your jam range number so enter the one i have uh, this is a range number of uh, 2020 aspirant. So, uh, as you enter it, you click. Once you click on submit, it should take you to where you see a notice. And under that notice, you will see two buttons. Uh, one is written, click here if you have paid, and the second one is a print invoice slip. So, um, first one can only be clicked only when you've paid, you've generated an invoice. Uh, and paid it to the sum of 2000 naira in the bank. Uh, while the second one is for printing an invoice slip that you will use in paying the sum of 2000 naira in the bank. So, uh, if you pay the uh, 2000 naira, you can just click on click here if you pay, and uh, your re results will be shown to you. So, but if you haven't paid, uh, the first thing you need to do is to print an invoice. So, let's click on the print invoice slip. So once you click on the printable slip uh, to take you to where you print the invoice. So what you will do now is take this uh, your take your phone or your uh, uh, system, which is your desktop uh, or your laptop, to any of the nearest server cafe to print your invoice. Uh, once you've done that, you just take it to the bank with the sum of two thousand naira and pay and make the final payment. Then once you've done that, then you come back to um, your first started, which is here. Then you repeat the first process, which is entering your 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 jam bridge number and clicking on submit. And once you enter it uh, after pay, after making your payment and click on submit, uh, you will see your result immediately. So and that is it. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share our video so that when we release another new video, you will know. Bye for now.